It was supposed to be a routine overnight flight. A Boeing 747 packed with 337 passengers and crew, lifting off from Honolulu bound for Auckland. But just minutes after takeoff, disaster struck. A violent explosion ripped through the aircraft, and in an instant, nine passengers were gone. What happened to United Airlines Flight 811? And how did the crew manage to pull off one of the most incredible emergency landings in aviation history? Let's break it down. On the night of February 24, 1989, United Airlines Flight 811, a Boeing 747-122, pushed back from the gate in Honolulu. The aircraft was en route to Auckland, New Zealand, with a stop in Sydney, carrying 337 people, 307 passengers, and 30 crew. At the controls was Captain David Cronin, a veteran pilot just months away from retirement. With over 35,000 flight hours, he had seen almost everything, except what was about to happen next. The takeoff was routine. The jumbo jet climbed through 22,000 feet, leveling off before continuing its long journey across the Pacific. Inside the cabin, passengers settled in for the night. The flight attendants began service. Everything seemed normal, until it wasn't. Suddenly, at 22,000 feet, everything changed. Without warning, a violent explosion shook the aircraft. A deafening roar filled the cabin. Passengers felt an immense force pulling them forward. In the blink of an eye, nine people vanished into the night. The forward cargo door, just beneath the first-class cabin, had been ripped from the aircraft, taking a huge section of the fuselage with it. The explosive decompression sucked out rows of passengers, seats, and debris, leaving a gaping hole in the 747's side. Inside the cockpit, chaos erupted. Instruments flickered, alarms blared, and the aircraft began violently shaking. The decompression had caused severe damage to the electrical systems, and one of the right side engines had been hit by flying debris, resulting in an engine fire. Mayday, mayday, mayday. This is Flight 811. We are declaring an emergency. Despite the chaos, Captain Cronin and his crew acted fast. They declared an emergency and immediately began an emergency descent, fearing further structural failure. The cockpit was filled with glaring alarms. The aircraft was barely controllable, and the passengers in the cabin were exposed to the deafening roar of the wind at 22,000 feet. With a gaping hole in the fuselage, temperatures inside the cabin plummeted. Oxygen masks dangled from the ceiling, barely effective at this altitude. Flight attendants rushed to calm the panicked passengers strapping into their seats as the aircraft rapidly descended toward Honolulu. Captain Cronin knew they had to land, and fast. With one engine on fire and critical damage to the fuselage, they lined up for an emergency landing back in Honolulu. With remarkable skill, the crew brought the wounded Boeing 747 down safely, touching down at high speed. Emergency crews rushed to meet the aircraft, unsure if more structural damage would occur upon landing. Against all odds, the crew of United Flight 811 had managed to bring their crippled aircraft back to the ground, saving 328 lives. 
But the investigation that followed would reveal a terrifying flaw that had doomed the nine passengers lost that night. The investigation revealed a fatal flaw in the Boeing 747's cargo door locking mechanism. Unlike most aircraft, the Boeing 747's cargo doors weren't designed to open inward. Instead, they swung outward, allowing for more efficient cargo loading. But this design came with a fatal flaw. It relied entirely on a series of latches and locking mechanisms to withstand the immense pressure differences at cruising altitude. Investigators would later discover that this locking mechanism had a critical weakness, one that could lead to catastrophic failure. First, there was a problem with the electrical system. A short circuit could accidentally trigger the latch actuator, causing the locking arms to retract without anyone touching them. Then, there was a false sense of security. Due to the design of the locking system, the door could appear fully latched to ground crews, even when the internal locking latches weren't actually engaged. That meant the aircraft could take off with a dangerously unsecured cargo door without anyone realizing it. And finally, there was the pressure. At 22,000 feet, the cabin was fully pressurized with an immense difference between the air inside the aircraft and the thin atmosphere outside. If the cargo door wasn't properly locked, that pressure would force it outward with explosive force. And that's exactly what happened on Flight 811. Because of United Airlines Flight 811, Boeing reinforced the locking mechanisms on all future aircraft making modern aviation even safer. What do you think was the most critical moment of this emergency? Let me know in the comments. And if you want more real aviation breakdowns, subscribe for the next